Hi, I'm Stephanie Weaver, fine art artist, and I am doing, I kind of unboxed it before I told you guys about it, but I'm going to show you a little bit about an unboxing um, so that uh, you can check out these just drool-worthy brushes, right? So, okay, so last week was my birthday, and my husband asked me what did I want for my birthday, and I said uh, Rosemary Company oil painting brushes, just without hesitation. He's like, okay, well that sounds like something you need to kind of get for yourself, so why don't you pick them out? And I'm like, all right, cool, what's my budget? And he didn't answer, so I'm like, mm, okay. So you know what that means, ladies, uh, free reign. So anyway, I told him how much it was after <laughs> I got it, and he was like, oh, thank God, okay. Because he's thinking in the world of technology and like how I'm a techie person, that he's gonna be like, you know, 900 whatever in for like an iPad, you know, the latest little iPad or something like that, which mine's fine, I love my iPad. I don't, I don't need anything like that, but brushes, I can always use new brushes because the last time I actually bought brushes was probably about three years ago on my birthday when we went to Atlanta to go shopping. So anyway, got some new brushes and I don't know why I wait for like my birthday or something to get some Rosemary Company. So this is Rosemary Company. Comes in a beautiful little box like this. It's nice and secure. Everything was actually taped so it came in this little package right here and it was actually taped down so that you didn't have to worry about your brushes being crushed up against the box like that you know what i mean so it was nice and secure in here so it came in a lovely little box very nice and simple and it came with, you know, some little reading material. And I did tell them, that I checked the little box to not send me a catalog because I just look at the catalog online. Um, I kind of know what my preference are for oil painting brushes. And um, so anyway, when I went shopping online, I found a kit. And this is by, um, I'll tell you his name. The artist's uh, name, is the collection is Casey Childs. This is the Casey Childs professional set. And so when I shopped for it, I know I like filberts and flats. Um, that's pretty much it. I've tried the rounds, I've tried a bunch of others. I've even tried the fan brushes, not a fan. Not a fan of the fan. So um, I knew I would like the flats and filberts and Casey Childs collection came. And look at all of this, all of this collection right here. Um, and I've already organized them because it's like getting new school supplies, you know, back when you were a kid and you got new school supplies and you're like, oh, and you're so afraid to use that new pencil. You got a sharpened tooth, a fine point, and you got a brand new notebook. That's the way I feel right now about my brushes because they're all so just pretty and there's so much potential just waiting to come out of them and I'm so excited about them. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about each one that kind of came in here. Well, not each one, but each like segment. Okay, let me get my little glasses because you know, they write small. So, <laughs> um, all right, so we've got this grouping right here. Now this, and I've already kind of broken the bristles a little bit. They all come like this, that one's already been broken too. I have a tendency to feel the brushes. Like I just, you know, you gotta feel them, see what they're gonna be like. It's like an extension of your hand. You just kind of feel it, you know what I mean? Okay, so anyway, like they all come kind of stiff like this and you just kind of break them up just a little bit. And it's got a lot of great snap in this one. This one is the Eclipse X Long Comer. And it's got some good bounce in it. I believe these are actually um, mongoose. And they might even be synthetic mongoose, but I don't really care. I just know that I like, it's going to make a nice good tip there. I put a little bit of, I got some linseed oil here. I put a little linseed oil on there. Look at the blade of that. Right, very, very nice right there, and it feels good. Love the, the sharpness of the corners. That's one of the reasons why I love the flats, is so I can approach it either full on like that, or I can get a little bit of details with the corners, or I can come in there and get a really nice line on top. Love that. Very excited about that. Okay, so that was this grouping. So I actually got, let's see what else in here. It's got the 10, a three-fourths. Oh, this one goes over here. 
This one's a long flat. That one goes over in here. It looks a little bit different. It doesn't look like the... This is badger hair right here. It doesn't look like that. Hmm, interesting. So this is the long comber. That was three-fourths of an inch, five-eighths of an inch. And then we've got the half inch. And the three-eighths of an inch. Look how nice and long that is. Break it up just a little bit. This is going to have some nice bounce back. So these, to me, feel like they're going to be really good for glazing because they're nice and soft. Um, I think I'll be able to use them also for some Ola Prima style of painting. And I like, so I actually try and avoid using all of this length right here. So the way that I load my brushes is I'll load it up to maybe about here. I don't. I try not to get any paint up in here into the ferrule because that will ruin the brush. So this gives you a lot of a leeway to be able to load your brush and then apply the paint and have it still just kind of give and put onto the, that canvas. Like that. All right, this next series right here, this is one that I can tell I am going to love. This is the Evergreen Flat. I'm going to break this one up. So what I'm going to love about this is it's got really good bounce back. These are synthetic and I actually, I actually do have a preference for the synthetic because they seem to last longer. They take a beating pretty good. <laughs> and, um, these I can tell, I, well, I actually love that it's green. I mean, seriously, that's so pretty, very shiny. Um, but again, it's got these nice long bristles here. It makes it where I have enough time, enough load area, so I don't have to continue to dip in my paint. So I've got a nice little load right there. Very nice. These go longer. So let's see what am I looking at. And then this group, you know, came with this is number eight, seven. <laughs> Six. Here's my five, four, three, two, and one. So I've pretty much got the full setup there of the flats. And again, like I said, I, I prefer the flats because I can use I can use the full blade. I call it a blade. I don't know if that's the actual term, but um, I can use the full width of the blade, I can use the point of the corners, or I can use it straight on to create these really nice um, lines, especially like the lines that you would see like around the dogs and cats' eyes. I call that the eyeliner. <laughs> so that would be great for those. Now this series right here, I have already some of these in my collection. And this is a badger hair series. So this is the long flat. So all of these are the long flat, and actually I have this one. Yep, I got the exact match right there. So you can see this one I got three three years ago. And this is a brand new one. So they stay, they keep really really well as long as you keep them well, right? So yeah, I'm excited about this. I can tell I use this one a lot, so it's already kind of frayed just a little bit, but. I can easily kind of just that just a little bit. I'm gonna get some linseed oil right there. There, so it's, now it's conditioned for the next time I want to use it. Just kind of looking at it, see how abused I've <laughs> it's been, and that actually it's pretty good. It's not that not that bad. I always feel like I'm really hard on my brushes. <laughs> But yeah, okay, I'm pretty pleased with that. So yeah, the Bachelor Hair Series is great for those uh, that all, all of Prima. And then I also use it for my glazing because it's really soft, like feather tickly soft. You can type it to so, you. <laughs> so yeah, these will be great. Oh my gosh, this one. Wow, oh, you gotta feel that. Oh, nice. These are going to be so fabulous on the, one of the big paintings that I'm working on that I need big brushes for. 
So yay. A lot of times I do small work, and every now and then I just need something big to make a big bold stroke. So those are gonna be lovely. So excited about those. And then I came, I got this other little that's a sable thingy. <laughs> That's nice. It'll, it's got a nice firm point. That'll be great for those little details like in the cat eye and everything. Kind of like that. And then of course I've got my um, hog hair. So this hog hair is great for those um, underpaintings where you just got to get in there and you got to scrub, scrub, scrub. So hog hair takes a beating and takes a licking and keeps on ticking type thing. Um, and so in this one, it came with the eight, and these are filberts, by the way. So we got the eight, six, four, two, and I know this one's a zero. So that's gonna be really nice. So excited. So this is like a complete collection of everything that I feel like I would need. Um, well, in addition, I would add actually like a little mop brush, so. I have mop brushes. Um, you know, these are just Simply Simmons, Robert, uh, Robert Simmons, Simply Simmons. I like these for the mop brushes. So I use that to blend and everything. So this is going to be so much fun. So I've got a project that I'm working on today. Um, it's, you know, I'm teaching how to paint cat eyes. And so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use some of my, um, the, these today. So this is the Eclipse Long Comber. I think it's going to be fabulous for glazing because it's so soft. And I'll just be able to gently glaze on some good colors. So normally for glazing I use my red Kalinske Sables. I think I'm going to give these a whirl. That feels so nice. Eclipse Long Comber. Oh, so excited about my new tools. Okay. So that's it for the unboxing. So now we actually get to paint and we know that these are gonna be lasting a very long time. Like I said, I've had this one for three years. I've got some other ones next to the sink that I got from Rosemary and Company a few years ago that I just love. So I am so excited to get started on these today. Like this is another one that I've had for a couple of years. And you can see it's doing well, really well. This is a Filbert, uh, Rosemary and Company Long Filbert. And it's a badger hair series, so you can see how it goes in there with that. And then I also had this uh, 3 8 Rosemary and Company Angular. So this is another little badger hair. It's nice and short, great for those little details that you just kind of want to get in there. It's pretty darn stiff, and so it just does so well. I'm so excited to get started today. No idea. Yay! New tools! Okay, so I hope you kind of enjoyed this little bit of box unboxing and if you have any questions about, you know, how do I use these, feel free to let me know, pop in a question, I'll be glad to answer. And until next time, you guys stay safe, happy and healthy, and happy painting.